Hello guys, my name is Edda and welcome to the end of today's strategy guide to Soa, the Infernal One. We didn't actually kill Soa in this recorded attempt and I managed to screw up the recording of the kill, but this will serve to demonstrate boss mechanics and our strategies to deal with them. Our group composition is made of two tanks, two healers, two melee DPS and two ranged DPS. For this fight you only need one tank and this would actually make the third phase easier and shorter, but we decided not to change the composition we used for all the encounters prior to this one. This fight is a three-phase encounter with two transitions. The encounter starts with the marching speech. At this point he's invulnerable, but you can still apply dots and debuffs. During this phase, the boss will spawn void zone areas around the ancient power source pyramids and he may also spawn ball lightning that will target a random player. The void zones are easy to avoid and they don't immediately start giving damage, so just run from them. The person targeted by ball lightning should run away from the group and make them explode by running into them. The phase ends when Soa reaches 75%. When this happens, he'll summon his shield and the transition phase begins. As soon as the shield is back up, everyone should move to the outer ring in the north side of the platform because at this point so will make the floor below your feet collapse. You'll need to move down and destroy the ancient power source pyramids as you go along. In order to negate the boss's damage buff, you'll have to destroy 5 of them. The platforms are at the distance that will give you fall damage, so as soon as you reach a platform where you need to wait for the next collapse to happen, have your healers heal the raid up. Right, don't uh, don't poor sleep this time, okay? <laughs> I thought I was being smart. <laughs> uh, I thought that counts. A sort yeah. of smart. Similar to the first phase, the boss will spawn ball lightning. There won't be any more void zones and he'll bring two mechanics into play. The first mechanic is a CC ability. He'll CC a player by throwing him around the room, giving small amounts of damage. Nothing great unless the person is below 50% HP. The second mechanic is Mind Trap. He'll summon a Mind Trap that will enclose a player in it until it's destroyed. Inside the trap there is a projection of Soa. This is a low HP mob that does little to no damage at all. Here you can see what happens inside the mine trap. This phase will last until he reaches 30%. At this point, he'll be invulnerable and the second transition, similar to the first, will begin.
This phase starts with Soa still with the shield up and he can't be damaged. To make the shield collapse, the tank needs to position Soa under the giant ancient power source pyramids that will spawn. If you notice, our tank misses the ancient power source pyramid and this is what will make us wipe. While the shield is up, the DPS should focus on destroying the mine traps. Make sure you focus all your DPS on the same trap or you might have to shield collapse with two or three people inside them. Most likely, you only have three opportunities to kill him before he enrages. When the shield eventually collapses, everyone in the group should DPS Soa because of the very short window of opportunity, only 12 seconds until the shield is back up. Make sure you use all your cooldowns in this phase. This was when he enraged, and at this point, it was already a wipe. Hope you guys enjoyed it, have fun!